back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee. Today's video is my fall decorate with me. I'm super excited. I know you guys have been waiting forever for this, but I just didn't want to decorate before September. I didn't want to rush it. I feel like when you rush fall and you do it in August, early August and in July, it takes away the magic. I don't like that word, but the magic of it. So I just wanted to like naturally let it happen. And now I feel like it's an acceptable time for me to put up my fall decorations. That being said, it is really late at night. It is a stupor, stupor. <laughs> I mean, that, that that's just when you're trying to say it's stupid. Good. It's, it's, there's a stupid good storm going on outside. It actually just ripped my umbrella right off my porch. It broke it. broke it. it destroyed it. So it's the perfect time to film this decorate with me. It's stormy outside. It's rainy. It's thundering. It's all the fall vibes right now, except for it's like 100 degrees outside. That kind of takes away the magic of it. But we're going to get going and see what I can, if I can turn this little trailer into a fall wonderland. I'm thinking I can. We're going to see though. I don't know. I don't usually decorate for seasons. So this is out of my comfort zone. But I'm here to try. You guys know I'll try anything once. I just don't know if I'll do it again next year. <laughs> Hopefully I'll still be around next year and we can see if I do it or not, but I hope maybe I will It just depends on what this looks like Shane's looking at me like he's ready to go. He's helping me today by the way y'all ready See what we can do in this house. We also got to clean because you know my house is always a mess All right, so I do have all the warm lights going usually my light bulbs are like the LED the daylight ones But I got my warm white light bulbs going I'm gonna pop on this fireplace to get the coziness going on in here and see what we can do Hey, rainbow stage. I'm going to be up. Means that he'll be up, so don't be scared of the storm, okay? We'll be up in here. If I could hear my father's voice. So I didn't just decorate, I didn't just show you guys the end result of me decorating this. I'm going to show you guys the process, how my mind works. That way if you guys see me do something that you like that I may not stick around in my house, like I may not leave it in my house that way, you can still get an idea for it. So at first I tried doing something big on both ends of the fireplace and that ended up being too much. So you'll see me change that later, much later on I'll be changing that. I decorated over a course of three days. so a lot of things changed in the middle of those three days but it'll give you double the ideas <laughs> we'll say that it'll give you double the ideas my thing here is I want it elevated but I don't have anything to elevate it Shane thinks it looks good on the ground so because he likes it like that I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him what I said I said it needs to be elevated and what did I say you said why did I say? And it went totally over your head. That shows you didn't hit, listen. To what did you say? I said some of the best things in this house are short. I'm short. Exactly. I love you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave it short because some of the best things in this house are short. I think the best things in this house is tall. Five one or five two on a good day. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bulk it up since it's really short. I'm gonna bulk it up a little bit. First, I was wanting to go with a more traditional, like, fall look, which is why I tried so hard here to make this burnt orange work. But just paired with my garland and the overall color scheme of my home, it just wasn't working. So I ended up doing a more neutral, cool-toned, 
decor in my living room and slowly transitioning that into a normal traditional fall look in my dining area and I think I think I kind of pulled it off it does kind of look like night and day but I'm like Hannah Montana really you get the best of both worlds so I just basically got everything that I like the traditional and the non-traditional colors in my house Shane. I am the hype! We are trying. You can't see your head. I can't help it. I'm so tall. We're this trying. This is what it's to like for giants. Each decorate, and we're trying to put our minds together. We're trying to run with it, but this is hard. I'm not gonna lie. This is really hard. This is so hard. <gasps> I have a head. <laughs> yeah, um. The thing is, I'm an artist. But I'm not a decorator. And clearly there's a difference. What you doing with that? I'm bringing it over here to see. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I like what you're doing. I'm getting in the groove. I'm liking what you're doing with this. I'm getting in the groove. Get my little pumpkin back down there. No, this is not going to... Banks is going to get a hold of that. He's going to get a hold of the other one too. The kids are going to rip your blanket out of there and use it. Cameron's going to use your pillow. That looks like we're lining pumpkins against the wall. Here, hide, little pumpkin. Are we not? Play peekaboo. <laughs> Okay, so I turned off that lamp because while it is cozy on camera, it just makes it, woo, that lightning. It just makes it too bright and I don't want it to mess with like the, the theme that I'm going for right now, which is a very neutral green type of fall. That sounds so backwards. <laughs> but that's what I'm going for right now. So I turned off that light to, so hopefully you guys can see what we're going for better. This is what we've got going on so far. I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. I'm gonna wait and see if it all comes together. Boom. It needs greenery. It's got greenery. No, it needs greenery. Okay. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, something like Wait. candlestick. Wait. No, hear you're not out. putting a window no, in the hear me out. He's hijacked my video. No! It's like you're looking into the window of a Get that off there. Oh my gosh. Wait, I got something for no. you. No, no, no. no. Shay, one of your pumpkins fell. <laughs> this is almost comical. What are you doing? Where did you get that from? Closet. This was in the closet? Where are you? No, we can't have two cotton plants on each side. Because. Shane, this, this just don't make sense. Why well, doesn't? Awesome. This decorate. It's I know. Gorgeous. It's looking great. I can't believe we're pulling it off. You 
were literally about to just say it didn't make sense. Look at that little pumpkin there. Yeah, that's my little pumpkin. Thank you. It needs to be seen. Is it, is it pre pretty though? Gorgeous. Like the pumpkin there? It's like Easter egg in a way. It looks like an Easter egg. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're hiding Easter eggs around the house. Okay. You know, <laughs> listen, get out of my shot. Stop! I'm here to talk to you about fall awareness, okay? This is something that I myself have just recently learned about. Fall time is a time to decorate your house in beautiful decor. Excuse me. Hey, Chitara, you want to get out of the that shot there? Yeah. That looks great. Did you hear that thunder? Anyway. Thunder roll and lightning strikes. Another sleepless cold on the summer okay. night. So, so goes on out of control. Blame her for not getting this wisdom. As you walk out of this door, you're going to be seeing the words fall right before you go down our stairs. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's mean. It's kind of genius. It's still gonna tell people to fall. <laughs> Check these out. Look at that. Don't that just look like something royalty would have? This one looks definitely like royalty would have owned it. This one here looks like this would have belonged to like a wizard or something. I'll agree, that looks really good. That is awesome. What do you got in your hands? What do I don't you have do? nothing in my hand. Okay, you're not setting the pumpkin in the wreath. <laughs> <laughs> we have Christmas wreaths. We have Halloween wreaths. Why can't we have a fall wreath? Because, uh, where, here, you want to try to put that up there or no? No. No, we're not putting it on top of the candle. That looks a little odd. I'm not gonna pop. What? That looks odd. I will put it somewhere. You will not put well, it somewhere. It's moving. You ain't gonna see it. She won't let me put my pumpkin anywhere. And it's buffalo plaid, her like favorite thing in the world. Like literally, if she could have married this before she married me, she would have. And then you would have had buffalo platin and buffalo pl plaidman and buffalo placey and buffalo ploly. Mm -hmm. Well, I like this, so it's going somewhere. I don't know, that's a weird design. No, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where would you just pull that out of? Your honey. The Mary Poppins. Maybe, just maybe. Which one do you got better? The other one or that one? That one. That one? You need to go back over there and fix that though. Stop doing something stupid. 
I feel like we just created I feel like we just created clicks in school <laughs> like you got the small pumpkins the friendly pumpkins because they're saying hello the one back here in the corner that's fancy and then the tall ones the lamb ears the lamb ears <laughs> these are the ones you don't want to mess the with the lamb ears <laughs> What would you guys do in this tray? What? Should I just leave it alone? I think I just need to leave it alone. Okay. Yeah. What about this area though? Does that have to have something there? No, it don't have to, but it does look a little off. We just we mm. just created clicks again. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. One of the lamb ears died. Treasured sky. I don't hate it. No. I'm not sure his chicken don't know what you're talking about. Hey! Okay, that tops it off. Boom. Let me tell you what. We're going to be on the cover of uh, Home Decor Magazine. Shane, your confidence is too high. Mm. This is my pumpkin collection. This is my pumpkin collection. <laughs> I have named every single one of them. This one is Marceline. Bert. This So this is the next evening and here's where I realized, okay, I don't love this. Like I, I like it. It looks good on both sides, but it's just too much. I like to keep my space clear because I, my mind is cluttered. So I don't want a cluttered mind in a clear space. Um, I, I just decided to like kind of simplify. So I like that better than what I had it last night. Still looks a little weird. It still looks a little weird. I eventually for this little area may get a little something. I don't know. I really don't like anything in front of that though. Unless it's like fall decor. Like I'm I'm I like the clean crisp look. Except for like fall and Christmas, because you know you gotta decorate big time for fall for Christmas at least. But I like that better than I like how it was last night. can see here how fast the couch gets messed up literally just the night before I had it all pretty 
and then it's like it usually it usually looks like it looks right now before I fix it that's usually what my couch looks like always it's always a mess Every time I use this, I have somebody in the comments going, what are you doing? That's not meant to go on your couch. <laughs> I just use a spray bottle because I love it. This is diluted fabric softener. So I put a little bit of fabric softener in a bottle and I dilute it with a whole bunch of water and it makes like a Febreze thing. That I, Anytime I get this out and I'm spraying it like a mad woman around my house, just know it's not Dawn Power Wash. <laughs> Okay, now we make it to the kitchen, which is the hard part, because as you can see, my counters are covered in fall decor. My table is covered in fall decor. It is a mess, literal mess. I'm gonna work on this end cap, because we just made it a pumpkin gallery last night. But I'm gonna work on it, and then I'm gonna make my way throughout the kitchen and the dining room. Okay, so I'm gonna mop my floors real quick and then the living room will be done. I'm gonna use this. I picked it up at Lowe's. It had the name Method on it, so you guys know I grab anything with Method on it. I love Method. Apparently, it's hard floor cleaner and you can use it on all different types of floors. Vinyl, tile, all the things. This one is in the lemon ginger. They also had one for authentic hardwood floors, like actually wood floors. It was, is that? No, pour it out. Smells like butt water. They also had one for regular, like actual hardwood floors. This one's for like the knockoff hardwoods and just hard surfaces. Apparently, I can just squirt and mop it. So apparently, I squirt this on my floor. It's like the lazy kind of mopping, and I'm I'm about that. So this says that you can use it on linoleum, vinyl, laminate, and tile floors. Squirt a thin layer onto the floor and wipe it with a cloth or a mop. There's no need to dilute it or rinse it. I don't know how that works, but I'm intrigued. Using this acorn spice from Mrs. Myers last season, like last fall season, I used the apple cider and I really liked it. I love this acorn spice one, but Shane thinks it's too strong. I think his Dr. Pepper's tasting a little bit too fally. <laughs> so, but it's what I'm using. I like it. I'm just doing the couple of dishes in the sink here because I constantly have a load going in the dishwasher. So I'm just getting what's i'm hand washing what's here in the sink so that i can hurry up get this sink cleaned out and get this whole area tidied up do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? You guys can really see here how much soap suds I like get all over my contact paper countertops. I've had these suckers for a long time. They do amazing. Before this set, I had another kind of counter. A top contact paper it did great I'm about to change these out because I'm gonna be changing all of my countertops out so I'm excited to see if the next round does as good but this round has done amazing I haven't had any issues at all forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep you don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that? I'm using these candy corn wax melts. This came in a pack from Amazon. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. There's like a booberry one. There's so many cute ones. I'll try to have them linked below if I can find them. I think I can probably still find them. But they smell really good paired with pumpkin candles. I have my Dollar General pumpkin picking candle. Wow, that's a lot. P -p 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 pumpkin picking candle. And it smells really good put together. It like really brings out the, it smells like I'm baking a pumpkin pie. Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love.
just don't know what to do. <laughs> I just scraped that up with my fingernails. You gotta do it. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. It had to come up somehow. And I wasn't about to dirty up a spatula, so that doesn't make any sense. Why I dirty up my nails, dirty up a spatula, but it works. <laughs> just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. Have you felt like you were out of love breath when you saw her in that dress? So it looks like my living room is clean. I got worship music going, but let me show you. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Once felt I'm done with the defense Drove back and climbed over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Hey, you know what's a good idea? What? At the beginning of every one of your videos, like MGM used to do with the lion, you could just have me go, Rawr! <laughs> Shane helped me make this little centerpiece that we're working on here, and it turned out so cute. Y'all, me paired with his creativity, because you guys know he's an artist. Like, he does a lot of cartooning, cartoonist, things like he, That's what he is. Like, that's what he does. He's good at. But I, didn't, I never thought that what he's good at could be used in, like, home decorate, and it's really cool to see that happen. banks okay so starting over here i got some fall pillows it looks odd with my flower pumpkins and you know i do have a dude mowing over here um so that's messing with the fall feels but i got those pillows there i got this cute little pumpkin doormat on this uh doormat rug it says hey there pumpkin i'm in love with it anything i, ha I can link i'll have linked down below i have I have these cute little fall pumpkins in the wreath. Those are from the Dollar Tree. They're the glitter ones, but they actually look really cute. 
especially against that blue. This is what it looks like walking in. All right, so starting over here in this corner, I got this sign, which I cannot remember where I got it from. I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby, and I have this little pumpkin here. I kept it simple because I didn't want cluttered. I definitely don't want cluttered over here in these shelves. If I could have put a thousand more pumpkins, if I, you know, would have let myself because I wanted to, but I didn't want it to end up looking cluttered, so I just put that there. I also kept it simple down here and just added this little comfy pumpkin. I got that from Ross. No, I didn't. I got it from TJ Maxx. And then a little buffalo plaid pillow down there. You guys, so at the beginning of the video, I did this a totally different way. Um, and it was just too, too much, too much stuff. I really do want to keep it simple. Even while I'm decorating for seasons, I don't want to go overboard. I want to keep it simple so that it still looks big and kind of like clean in here. The more clutter I add to it, this small little trailer, the more cluttered it, the trailer looks. So I got that little plant there. And then over here, I put a basket from TJ Maxx, a throw from TJ Maxx, and a pillow from TJ Maxx in there. I also have this little cute pumpkin. This is my favorite pumpkin that I got this season. I got it from TJ Maxx. I just put a few pumpkins in there and the pumpkin down there. It's all sitting on a crate that I already had. We use this for Banks' toys. Um, right now, they're in another area over there underneath my dresser. But that's what I got going there. Up here, I have two garlands intertwined together. One of the garlands came from Amazon. I'll be able to link it, but the other one came from Hobby Lobby. You guys saw I was on the search for get. I was on the search to get a garland at Hobby Lobby in one of my weekend vlogs. I finally found one. I kind of put them together to make it fuller, and then added some little pumpkins just everywhere. One of the garland already has pumpkins on it and pine cones, but I wanted a few more pumpkins to make it look more fally. Then as you go along through here, I added some neutral throws and some fall colored throws. My accent pillows are like a sage green. I got those from Amazon and these pillowcases are from Amazon as well. This one says hello fall. That one says blessed. And this one says happy harvest. <laughs> I got all of those from Amazon and the throws are from Ross and TJ Maxx. So then we're going to make a circle. So right here, Shane and I didn't know what to do with this area. So we kind of just made it a platter of fall. <laughs> um, I kept this plant here because I really loved it. I loved it by itself sitting in here, but I really wanted to add something for fall. So I added this pumpkin and a few other pumpkins, a little rope, a uh, beaded rope thing and a candlestick. That way it still looks simple, but it, like it, it does have some false stuff in it. I may end up taking everything out and just leaving my vase like it was before because I really liked it that way. Then over here, I have another green accent pillowcase from Amazon. That pillowcase is from Amazon as well. It's a cream colored one without the little pom-poms. I got this throw from TJ Maxx. It's like a darker sage green, almost like a hunter green, I guess you could say, but it has great undertones. I got velvet pump pumpkins. I got velvet pumpkins down here with this little hello fall sign. I'm loving it. It's cute. It goes with the throw and the green over here. And then I added just a little simple pumpkin there. That is what the living room looks like for fall. Over here, I got some of my most favorite pumpkins I got this season. I got these cute little pumpkins. I got this one at TJ Maxx and this one at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I got these little pumpkins here paired with a picture of my kiddos, two of my kiddos. I got my stacked fall letters right there and another little plant and a little pumpkin. All of this was kind of last minute and unplanned because I had planned everything out, wrote it all out on the list, and totally lost my list. <laughs> You're blending in with the current. <laughs> So, whenever you walk in, you can also see the kitchen over there and the dining room area. The dining room area, I didn't do a whole, whole lot to, but I did my living room in more neutral colors. I wanted to incorporate more oranges in my dining room just for it to be more, you know, folly. Um, this, you could mistake in this, even the plaid pants, <laughs> you could mistake in that for Christmas. Um, but over here, I want it to be like, you know, just very fall. And while I do have a very cool toned house apart, you know, from like 
a bunch of the woods and stuff. It's very cool tone, you know, modern farmhouse looking. Stuff like that. I did want to add in some traditional colors. So over here I got this Grateful Pumpkin. And I believe I got this from TJ Maxx if I'm not mistaken. And I kept my little cotton in there. I have this cute little pillow sitting in this. This one's from Walmart. It doesn't make sense because it says hot cocoa. I think it's as confused as we are right now. <laughs> um, and then walking over here me and Shane made this centerpiece. Um, we just put a bunch of... Dollar Tree floral in here and then we put a few pumpkins and put the little Dollar Tree chalkboards in there that and then wrote fall on them and it came out super cute. I like the fact that me and him made it together. He actually sat down with me and like put it together with me. As you can see over here I've definitely added more like traditional colors. I got this little gather sign that I got Ross up here and then I got some floral, some orangey floral in that little container. I have this pumpkin here with like the traditional colors and this very natural looking fall, sweet fall song. Um, apparently everything has to remind you that it's fall when you're walking through the house. I got this up here. I'm not exactly happy with it up there beside my cookbooks, but it looks good whenever you look at it like in a hole. This side is just a lot more warmer than that side. I honestly just could not remember where I intended for that one to go. <laughs> and then my coffee bar, I focused more so on like the galvanized pumpkin look. So I do have like some oranges because you know my coffee pod tops, they have orange in them. They're the Dunkin' ones. So I have my fall syrups over here. I have this little mug from Hobby Lobby that says, hey there pumpkin. I have this pumpkin spice latte please thing from Hobby Lobby and an another orange little accent piece over here from Hobby Lobby but then I come up here and I have garland greenery this which I got at Ross and then I have a big galvanized pumpkin up there I love that pumpkin that's one of my favorite pieces I got this season Looking at it from my bedroom, this is what it looks like. Walking over here, I just added a few little pumpkins. Actually, Shane did that. He stacked my little foam pumpkins. I did a DIY on the ones oh, from wow. Dollar Tree. He stacked them over there. Over here, I want to get some little pumpkin picks to put up in that to make it more folly. But I do like greenery having it on top of the stove like that. So I'm going to keep it there. I just need to get more pumpkin like stuff. I have this pumpkin candle going. It's one of my many pumpkin candles I've been stocking up on for fall. This one's from the Dollar General. It's the pumpkin picking one. And then the last little bit of fall stuff that I have is I have this pumpkin hand soap. I have this that sits in front of our paper towels, which we need to reload. I'm using this acorn spice uh, dish soap right now, and I'm loving it. I almost love it. I don't know. It's a tie between that one and the mum scent this year. Last year, I did apple cider scent, and I loved it. But this year, I wanted to try something different, more woodsy smells and spicy smells. So, I'm, I'm, it's a tie. This is why I have mum over here. It's totally a tie. I do have a few dishes in my sink. That's because this just now finished washing another load. I got... My little house over here because I really like to keep a wax warmer in the kitchen. Um, so that's the only place I can really think of to put it. But here's my tear tray. All this, well, most of this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. Aside from like the little Dollar Tree pumpkins. And the greenery came from Hobby Lobby as well. There's a Dollar Tree sign back there. But I really like how I was able to pull the sage green and the orange together to make this look really pretty that way it ties in with the traditional colors with my kitchen and dining room and the cooler colors with my living room it kind of like gradually transitions in my house which i really like that because i like having the best of both worlds just call me hannah montana <laughs> thank y'all for watching i hope i gave you guys some ideas to decorate your home for fall um i know it's hard sometimes but hey just a little bit of elbow grease and it'll gradually change over the season you'll gradually change things over the season and that's okay i hope y'all have a blessed morning in and night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more and i'll see y'all later